Shropshire in the heart of England's green and pleasant land. Famous for its farming, its quaint secluded villages and best known for its tanks. Wait, tanks? And as I drive down the mountain to Shrewsbury, people certainly do get out of the way. I never have a problem with people holding me up. They're very well engineered, built to last, built to withstand rough use, and they're just awesome big vehicles. just outside Shrewsbury hides the little known collection of Ben and his dad Tom. So what's your keeping then? They're down here, if you want to come and have a look. Whereas some of us choose to have slightly smaller collections, maybe stamps or model railways, Ben and his dad have chosen items with somewhat more metal. When I turned 19, I had a student loan from uni when I went to university and I had two grand burning hole in my pocket and went out and bought the scowl and it sort of grew from there. Then we bought the stalwart two years later. Yep, something like that, yeah. With another student loan and it kind of snowballed a bit out of control from there. So you didn't buy books then? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Most of the people spent it at the bar, I think. The Pioneer, Ben's first of five scammels, I'll have you know, started service in the British Army in the 30s. Whilst most are now used as commemorative pieces, a little bird told me this one was used for your wedding, Ben. I did, yes. The wedding was, uh, was, a, was a good day. Yes, we... Uh, we had um, a, a busy day to start with before we went, but yes, we used that for the wedding vehicle and I drove Emma away from the wedding. What did the other half think? Well, we had our first date in the Scammel, so she was more than used to it. She knew what, uh, she knew what was coming and, and thoroughly embraced it and enjoys it. Yeah, she, she, she likes it. Oh, how romantic. The anniversary next year is 75 years of the, since the D-Day landings. Um, on June the 6th, 1944, and we'll be taking two vehicles, one um, Dad's AUC Matador um, and the Scammel that you can see behind us here are both going. Um, we'll be over there for approximately a week. We will low load them down to the port and then drive them onto the ferry and then drive them along the coast of France. You know, they could probably pull 20 tonnes and there's always stories of them pulling far more during the war when, when needs must. Um, there's stories of them towing 100 tonnes across Holland, across the flats of Holland. How true that is, I don't know, but there's probably a little bit of embellishment goes on. <laughs> In years to come, we'll have lost all the veterans. Um, they're all getting very old now, you know, most are in their 90s, and the vehicles and the, and the places will be the only things we've got left then. So preserving the vehicles is, is very important. Commemorations will take place across France in 2019, marking 75 years since D-Day. 1.4 million Allied troops and thousands of vehicles like the Pioneer and Matador landed on the beaches of Normandy, marking the start of the long road to Germany and the end of the Second World War. We've always liked big vehicles. I've always been a big vehicle person. My father had always had big cars when I was a kid and uh, when Ben started on the military stuff, I thought it was a good thing because they're, they're such awesome machines. They're very well engineered, built to last, built to withstand rough use and they're just awesome big vehicles. But it's no fun just looking at these beasts of the road. So we take one for a spin? Definitely. Why not? Which one do you want? It's fairly straightforward actually. There are two tillers, that's big levers sticking up out the floor. 
And basically, there are two tillers, an accelerator pedal. It's a fully automatic gearbox. So you steer on the tillers, you, you pull forward on the left one to turn left, you pull forward on the right one to turn right. If you want to stop, you pull them both back together. To go, you release them and put your foot on the accelerator. It was at this point we asked about the ride quality, a fact that our cameraman soon found out. Christmas tree. Yeah, I don't think you'll be having your turkey around that, will you? No, Ben, I won't. We've got a, a Spartan, which is a, um, a, a armor personnel carrier. And that's probably going to be the next one, the next sort of big project to do. So there's always one on the sidelines waiting to be done. So, yeah. I think looking at Ben's mum, the reaction there is that we didn't really ought to increase the collection anymore. I <laughs> think we've probably got enough vehicles now. But that seldom, well, <coughs> that, that, that seldom happens, so we yeah, need to buy something yeah. else. <laughs> so uh, will you be helping them out with their uh, restorations? Well, I usually do a little bit, but I'm mainly on the flapjack making, to be honest. I think that's a maybe, lads. 